Hey folks, this is more of an explainer video than a CNC video, so uh, feel free to skip this if it's not really of interest to you. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about using LEDs in projects um, because it's something I've started getting into doing and I find it's a lot of fun. Uh, I do these a lot for the cubes. For example, this one has a set of about six of these flicker flame LEDs in them and it creates a nice little candlelight effect inside the box. Now these um, come in packages of like a hundred of these along with the resistors that you'll need and they're extremely easy to go ahead and solder together. Um, the resistor goes on the hot lead and then you just run them in parallel and I'm not a great person at soldering but if I can do these you can I just carve out a little channel in the bottom you can't see it here in this because I've got it already covered up but I carved myself a little channel for my electronics solder them up put them in there give myself a little space in the top and they work out really nicely um, you can also do some interesting things like this is the cube I cut last time and if I turn him on you can see that he's got kind of a pattern going on inside which is really cool and what that pattern is is a piece of edge lit acrylic right so the LEDs of the flicker flame LEDs these are blue um, and they're down below this area right here. What this allows us to do is light this up and you'll notice that like my top edge here has a really bright light and then the areas that I've taken with my diamond drag bit and cut have a nice bright light as well and you can carve whatever you want in those and it makes for a really interesting effect with the cube because what you wind up seeing is this thing looking like it's almost suspended inside the cube which is a neat little effect now for those of you who really dislike soldering and I, like I said I'm right there with you you can get these these are what are called fairy lights sometimes or twinkle lights um, as you notice, they, they actually do not twinkle at all. But um, they're a nice little battery-operated option, and they can be handy for a lot of things. I've used them on cubes before, like this one, which just has the blue in there. And so this becomes a more portable option if you want to use it. Uh, if you wanted to do something, say, in acrylic and make your own cosmic cube or whatever for cosplay, they're a great option for that. Uh, the other thing that I've actually done with these is on my dust boot, I now have a set of lights to help me do alignment. And this, of course, then remo removes from the dust boot assembly. And I can use that to help me light things up. And it's just a replaceable battery. The other kind of LEDs that you can get are these. These are LED light strips, right? And what those let you do is... Basically, you solder in one end and you can connect and chain these together and do all kinds of interesting things as well. And each one of these little pieces is an LED. Uh, let me show you what that looks like a little bit. So this is a prototype that I'm working on right now. This is an infinity mirror that uses these kinds of strip LEDs. And basically what it is is you've got a, uh, a two-way mirror here up top that'll allow anything backlit to show completely through. And then you've got a mirror in the very back that gives you some reflection and you get wind up with an infinite reflection. So if you do a little bit of backlighting, you get something like this. Now in this case, what I've done is I've taken and had three pieces of plexiglass, each with different writing around the edges going into the center and uh, put those in there so that they appear to be at different depths within the design. And then there's a uh, complete mirror, just a regular you know, mirror like I bought from Michaels in the back, and that reflects back 
which then bounces off of this two-way mirror and continues on and on and on and on. Now, if I lift this up, you can see, you know, a little bit more definition there of what those infinity lights look like in a standard mirror. But, um, so these are the strip lights going around. And like I said, my terrible soldering job down here. And I just have some pins that hold this piece together. And fit down like that. So these are the kind of things that you can make with LED lights. And um, try them. They're, they're cheap to order from Amazon. You can get like the little portable ones like this that are just a string of lights and you can untangle that. And these come in packages of six for about eight bucks. Um, so they're really cheap and fun to play with. You can get lots of different colors and what have you. I'll put some links down in the doobly-doo. Um, the strip lighting is also available in different colors. Um, so it has, you know, enough controls to where you can run something like an Arduino board or something like this and get, you know, for example, if I wanted to turn these on and off in sequence or something crazy like that, you can do all kinds of neat things like that. The, um, the individual ones that come in packages like this, uh, they're probably about eight bucks for a hundred. They're a real nice thing to be able to just sort of experiment with. Uh, lots of groups on YouTube will show you how to wire them up and things like that and probably do it a lot better than I could because like I said my soldering ability is horrible but if I can do these you can do fun stuff like this too and I hope you do some experimenting and show me what you come up with have fun